This conference will now be recorded. All right, good evening. I'm going to open this meeting of the Bisbee Arts Commission on Monday, October 5th at 5.30 p.m. First things first, roll call. Ginny Druckmann. Here. Karen Schumacher. Present. Sharon Stetter. Present. Amy Brett. Present. Bill Higgins. Here. Nina Williams, present. Okay, and I think one that will be here in a moment. And hey, welcome, Amy. The official meeting. We are being recorded in my robe. Um, and so we are going to go over, we're going to be going over, the Arts Commission's kind of busy at the moment. There's a lot of little things going on. So please feel free to ask us to explain what we're talking about because we're right in the middle of a few projects right now, okay? Mm -hmm. And so if you feel lost at all, it's totally understandable because there's quite a few little things going on, okay? The first thing that we do is that we do approval of the previous meeting's minutes. And so in your packet, you should have received those minutes for the previous meeting. And so the first thing, item one, is approval of the minutes of the September 14th, 2020 meeting. Do I have any comments? I make a motion that we approve the minutes of the September 14th meeting. And I'll second that motion. Do I have all ayes? Aye. Aye. Any nays? All right, then minutes are approved. And as you can imagine, Amy, our minutes are not really controversial usually as they involve paint and things like that. Um, <laughs> So, and, and nine is nice enough to give us the minutes beforehand so that I can we can go over them and make sure they're accurate and they usually are accurate so um so item two is updates and discussion on the cig art machine um uh, just I don't know if you're familiar Amy with the cig art machine it's in the convention center we use that machine to raise money for the arts commission so for every twenty dollars that's raised per pack of of uh, art, which is like a pack of cigarettes, I had one. I got one long time ago. Okay. Yeah. So normally ten goes to the artist and ten goes to the commission, or the artist can donate the whole thing to the arts commission. And Sharon's going to give us an update about the cigar art machine. So this we're doing great. We sold another twenty nine pieces since the last meeting, and I. Turned in $580 today, and I think Nina is going to give us an overall um, financial report here, so of what we've taken in through the machine and what we've spent out thus far. Okay, really so great. since July 2019 to current, we've taken in $11,350 from the cigar machine. And from September 2019 to current, we have um, paid the artist $4,440 with a good balance to us of $6,910 for the BAC. That's exciting. And so that's the example of how there's some artists that give the full proceeds from the machine to um, the commission and we, they don't ask for any um, portion of it. So that's why it's more. That makes sense. That looks good. That's great. Six thousand dollars back into us, and then the ability to give the you know, so four thousand going directly back into the arts community. And then, in addition to that, that six thousand makes it a an easier reach for us to meet our ten thousand uh, dollars grant cycle. So you know, knowing that we only have to come up with four instead of ten is really nice. <laughs> so. That's great. That, yep. So, yeah, um, the Amy, one thing I, uh, I guess I could bring it up here uh, since we're in this part of the meeting. Um, Nina, did you did I send you a note saying we needed to order more boxes again? Um, Sharon, you did. Okay. And I had completely. I have marked it. I think, but I will make a note because I have not ordered them. I think I saw them before I left one day, and I don't think I got back to it. Well, I have like 25 unsigned ones and I have a backlog of a few artists whose works are just selling all the time and I had them sign extra boxes. So we're not 
broke yet out of boxes, but pretty soon we will be. So okay, um, I'll order so, those this week. I do apologize; that was my error. No, no, that's okay. Um, we also, I guess, we may want to order more canvases as well from U.S. Okay. Supply. Okay. So should we but put that's that where we're at. Everything is good. Okay. Hey, Sharon, should we put that order together for Nina or? If, if Nina, would you? I, I sent the one thing to you. Do you want me to send both things to you again? The U.S. Art as well. I no, can send I it to you. I, I think I have if that I, one. If I don't, I'll I'll email you in the morning and ask you to send it to me. Okay. And by the way, if anybody knows any artists who would like to be a part of the machine, because there's uh, because it's doing well, right now we have uh, three slots in the machine that are empty. We're going to be filling up the one with the KBRP. And we just see, we just could handle a, probably a, another one or two artists uh, rotating in and out of it. So um, if anybody knows somebody who wants to be a part of it, please let me know and we'll get a hold of them. Okay. Hi, Miss Juanetta. I think you might be muted. Ah, oh, there she is, Juanetta. Where is she? She's in the yeah. corner. She, can't see yeah, her, she has to call in because her computer doesn't have the speakers. Okay. Well, we'll she'll be with us in a second then. Does anybody have any questions about the SIG art machine? How many slots are there? I haven't been in there in a while. <laughs> There's 11 on top, 11 on the bottom. Okay. Thank you. We have 22 slots one slot we leave empty for mystery artists which doesn't mean that we're leaving it empty but what I'm doing is as uh, artists whose work are not selling this is my solution for the people whose work does not sell I started putting it into the mystery slot and it's not because it's bad work by the way I don't let anything really bad go in the machine but um, uh, now, now they all sell so if, if I if they're not if for whatever reason their two by two inch photo doesn't look good or somebody doesn't pull that slot I put it into the mystery slot and the things are all moving so um, so that's really good I we don't have any artist who's a loser artist so. I, I just have one more question did you say that KBRP things are in yet or not yet I'm waiting for um, a list of the I've got a I've got this the uh, labels are made, all of the little uh, zip drives are labeled, they're ready to go in to the boxes, but the list of artists with their, with who's, who's on that um, musical zip drive are, hasn't been made yet. And Kat at the Bisbee Office Supply, I gave her all of the information and she's going to do it for us. Mahoney just handed it to me with the discs without, like, as if I'm a good graphic designer and I can make that thing look good. <laughs> it would have been a piece of paper folded up and shoved in the box. Right. So we have um, at over busy office supply. Mahoney said he's going to pay for it is designing something that'll be like a trifold or a fourfold if it has to be to list all of the artists that are, are on the the zip drive. Okay. okay. Thank they'll you. be in there very, very soon. Cool. Yeah. Uh, just throwing out a person. Hey, Jenny, do you think that Risha might be interested in doing the little canvases? I'll ask her. I have no idea. Yeah. I'll yeah. ask her. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of people who are not involved yet that might be, you know, because she does those abstracts that are great. But yeah, yeah, hey, Sharon, I'll be in contact about, I'll think about some people too, okay? Okay. And then we don't want to get people, so many people that, you know, it's the other side of it. So just a, a couple. Don't announce it like over overall that you'll definitely be in. But um, but yes, I would like to have a few more people just to be able to call on. Sharon, um, has yes. uh, has uh, Mr. Young put anything in there lately? Who? Mr. Peter Young. Oh no, but I, he's going to. They'll be in the mystery slot. Do I have <laughs> to tell you that when it happens, Bill? <laughs> I was just the rest of them. <laughs> no he just yet yeah, a couple days ago he's you know he did a this is off agenda but he did a announcement for BAC for KBRP radio a public service announcement and asked if he could do some more and I gave him four more canvases so hopefully I get them back soon okay <laughs> all right great <laughs> yeah any questions? 
Then I'm going to move to item three, update on the literary arts competition, which is kind of, I don't know if that's the exact title that we want to use going forward. Commissioner Druckmann. Oh, um, actually, I thought Allison might, Allison Williams said she wanted to talk to the BAC at the call to the public tonight, but um, she, she's not here. Anyway, I did talk to Allison, <laughs> who has the <clears throat> Poetry Critique Society. And mm -hmm. they're doing a reading in December. Um, we're, she's not sure how they're going to do it yet, because what I was asking her is if we could possibly get a recording to put people on the radio. And honestly, I didn't really get a clear answer. So I will follow up again, but she did have make another suggestion, which was to see if the BAC would like to sponsor a holiday gift card bag, because at the uh, library, they're giving out holiday gift card art bags so people can make their own holiday cards. It's the idea is sort of art as therapy and that people need something to do. And mm -hmm. she also suggested she might want to, uh, we might want to, for instance, sponsor a, a card perhaps by someone like Gretchen that would be a paint by number card. So we could go about it a lot of different ways, but I thought that was kind of an interesting idea. And I, um, it's a totally different than what you know. We're how, uh, Karen, talking. doesn't that not work? We don't really sponsor. They need to approach us for a grant. Is that right, Karen? No. So what we do is we change the protocol slightly a couple of years ago. So we do do sponsorships. So if it is something, oh. if it is a nonprofit, we can sponsor an idea. They do have to write a formal uh, proposal, and that would be like a paragraph of what they wanted do and we do okay. that year round and the reason that we changed that was because organizations it's very limiting to only have uh sponsorships for organizations once a year because organizations have things going year round right and then our grant cycle which is supposed to open in the next couple months is, is specifically only for bisbee artists and not organizations so i know that historically in the past we have not you know, we, we have not given funding to the library because the library is the city. And so that gets right. a little bit weird. Yeah. Because they have their own nonprofit organization that supports them. But I think we did sponsor the mural over at the library, but that was a little bit different because we paid the artist who painted the mural in the library. So we get into some, some sort of shady, not shady, but it, it gets complicated. Yeah. If she's interested, she would have to write us a proposal, and right, then we can put it on the agenda. It would be its own item on the agenda. I'll let her know that. And the other thing that I, I just want to follow up and say is, it sounds like since they're not sure how they're even going to be proceeding with their poetry society, we don't really know uh, if writers would be willing to do a reading at the radio station like we had talked about previously. So I guess I'm just going to have to keep it on the back burner and talk to her again. Yeah, and just as an update for anybody who's not aware, the idea of that was to get local writers to do pieces for the radio as a way of supporting the writers, because we often support the visual artists, but the writers are a little bit more difficult in that sense. So, but um, yeah, I mean, we were kind of putting on the back burner, right? Because because there's so many things going on. So, if you come up with any like, you know, epiphanies or anything, then let's we'll put it on the next agenda and go from there. I think. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, anybody have any questions about that item? No. Who's the so other? We're gonna caller? move. To item <clears throat> there's another caller. I just. It looks like there's someone else. The other caller is Juanetta. Oh, she's oh, Juanetta. Juanetta. Yeah, Juanetta has to call and use video. She's a different setup. Right, right. I have a mic now. Then is 
it didn't work for you, so I called in. Next time I'll have a mic. That's great, Juanetta, thank you. And so then, item four, update regarding the comic strip. So I, so the comic strip, we were gonna put a local artist on the paper, um, a different artist every month. And I talked to Laura Swan, and she said that she would be most comfortable with doing it bi-weekly. And bi-weekly in the sense of every other week instead of twice a week, you know, because that word can go both ways, which has confused me my entire life. Um, so every other week, she would be willing to run a comic strip of a local artist for the Bisbee Arts Commission for free. And the first one would be next week. Oh, good. Next week. So, Sharon, I know that you wanted to do it every, I know you wanted it every week, but until things calm I, down. I think it's better for the newspaper, ultimately, if they decide to do it every week, because people will buy the paper just to get the comic strip. You know, that's how people buy the New Yorker. So, <laughs> but, no, um, it's, but it's all right. You know, in time, she might get to that point. Yeah, and it's right space now, I mean, limited. there's a lot of chaos at the moment. You know, last week the edit yeah. they had like twelve letters to the editor in the paper. Did you guys see that? Yeah. I don't know if it was exactly oh, wow. twelve, but it was like a record number because people are unhappy about so many things. And yeah. so yeah. You know, and have time on our hands. You would reconsider, you know? Yeah. So, so um we have some images. Uh did you want to put those up for people to look at, Karen, or how are we letting Laura choose? Is that correct? I'm gonna send them to Laura. There, so Bronwyn started it. She did a few. She did a few comics, and we could run mm -hmm. Bronwyn for, for you know, two months since it's every other week, and then go from there and see if Laura wants to reconsider. What do you think about that? That sounds fine to me. I also ran into Pablo Pencil today, oh. and he is ready to go and do some comic strip work. I've got a list of people who would probably be willing to do this with us. So. If you guys know of anybody who wants to be included in drawing comic strips, please submit their names. Right now we have the names of Pablo Pencil, Poe Dismuse, Bronwyn, who already did it, um, Liz Ann Michelle, Carolyn Toronto's, Shauna Quana, uh, but I don't know how to get a hold of Shauna, and Lori McKenna. I thought I gave you the contact information. I sent her email address. I didn't get it. Unless I'll I respond. Okay. Anyway, we're only going for every other week. Um, it might be easier to rotate, you know, between different artists instead of having the same artists. What do you what What's the general consensus from the group here? Do you think it would be better to have the same artists appear every other week or rotate artists every other week? Personally, I, like I think it would be better to rotate. What do you think, Jenny? I Sorry. agree. Yeah, I agree. I think it'd be nice to rotate if you had some people that are committed to doing it. And I also wanted to see if you have it asked Steve Beauvais. If I have? Yeah. yeah. What are you asking if I have enough what? I wondered if no, you had Steve asked Beauvais. Steve Beauvais. I really can't hear. Hang on a okay. second. I'm going to try a speaker phone. Hold on. Jenny wanted to know if you had Steve Beauvais on your list. Oh, if I have enough people on my list? Well, I haven't spoken to all no, of no, them. No, 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 no. Hold on. Stop. Steve what? Beauvais. No, I Steve don't. Steve Beauvais. I don't have Steve Beauvais on my list. I'll edit. Ah. So I need to have the I need to have our contact information for Steve as well, not just his name. But if you've got that, or somebody has it, or maybe it's I don't know where Steve. Bo I I could find it probably, but no, I don't have him. I'll send it to you, Sharon, because he used to do a um, cartoon for the paper, and okay. he was very good. Perfect. Okay. So what I'll do now, what we've done thus far is we've been waiting to see what the newspaper was going to allot, and now that we know it's every other week, and now that I know that you would like to rotate artists, I'll send out a letter to the artists who I just listed off and invite them to participate, and then I'll let you know what my feedback is, okay? Great. Okay. Okay. That sounds We're great. We're next month, easily. Okay. Yeah, we'll, All right. we'll, we'll, we'll start with Bronwyn next week, okay? 
And so okay. just so it's okay. clear, along with that, it will say, you know, it will say a little tiny thing about the Arts Commission, and then it will give a link, information on how to contact Bronwyn if anybody's interested. You know, the whole idea is to advertise for our artists. And so yeah, more also, or less in Bronwyn's case, we'll, we'll put her Instagram up. I think that's what she mostly uses. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, I, um, I also asked her to write a brief um, bio statement about herself, which she did, which was pretty funny. Um, I, and so I, I don't know if we want to submit that as well, if Laura wants to give that kind of space to the artist to say something about who they are in our community. I think um, that would be appreciated because not everyone knows the artist. Um, that makes it a little bit more personal. Yeah. And um, you're only going to run at one time, just a little bio. Right. Okay, Karen, I'll send that to you. And you, you okay, tell and I, me if you, it's really short. It's like two sentences. That's great. I'll send it to Laura and we'll try to come up with like a format that works. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's okay. all an experiment. But I, she was, you know, she's always, once again, Laura Swan is always very nice. We offered to pay the newspaper to do it, and she would not take our money, but she was willing to put it up for us. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so we're going to pay the artist $25, and then um, that's still the same. Isn't that right, Karen? Yeah, per cartoon, right? Per cartoon, right. Okay. So that's just our, you know, it's just our way of, of trying to thank them for doing it and then trying to advertise for them too. So. Yep. Beautiful. And for, and again, it gets the BAC a little bit more recognition as well. So that's nice. Okay. Can I ask? Right. Hey, Jenny. Can I ask? Uh, where does that money come from? Does it come out of your general pot, or how do you give them money? Is it? It, it comes out of, we voted on it. It comes out of our money that we've raised, the BAC has raised. Okay. Yeah. It's and like so our, it's out of our grant money, you know, pocket. Mm -hmm. So like the money that the cigar machine raised or any fundraiser we have, we keep our money within the city money and then we're able to vote on how to use it. Okay. So it is, it doesn't go without saying that the council also has to vote on, once we vote on our money, the council has to approve our money as well. That's a rubber stamp. Yeah. yeah. They usually do not question us. Let's let's just hope that keeps it that way. So, and Ninus is Ninus over there in the corner looking. <laughs> she knows how it works. Um, <laughs> does anybody have any questions about the comic strip? Nope. And so, what's active right now? We'll move to item five. Update regarding the local artist widow tribute and corresponding online fundraiser. So, Amy, I don't know if you've seen it. So there's a window in the Bisbee Restoration Museum that's dedicated to a local artist, Rose Johnson, who passed away a few years ago. And our project is that every few months we're going to change out the window for a different artist. Right now we have a painting that Bill Higgins over in the other corner has donated that we're going to put up for auction starting November 1st and ending November 31st is the, the, the possible date. And then we're also selling prints. Bill Higgins donated the use of an image. He has the original drawings of the mural from Circle K. So if you look at the Circle K on Tombstone Canyon, Bill Higgins uh, paid for that mural to take place and has the original drawings that go that were made for it. And so we're going to sell 50 prints at $50 a piece of that, that drawing. And that those are that is actually up and active right now. The signs are not in the window yet because I was very confused. I had created the auction online um, for the Rose Johnson painting, and it kept on saying pending. And the reason is it will not be visible, I guess, until November 1st. Okay, that makes sense. The other one that I sent you, Sharon, it is visible. Right. Oh, it's good. It's frustrating. I was hoping both of them would be visible. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh. So repeat that, Sharon. I didn't get it. Okay, so 
There, we have put up on the internet two things that correspond with the window. One is that we're selling the prints of the drawing for of the Circle K mural. And then mm -hmm. the second is that we're having an auction from November 1st to the end of November for the painting. So right now, if you were to go to the website, you could see the print is available to buy now. But the auction will not actually be visible to anyone other than me until the auction goes live, which is November 1st. Okay. I was thinking it's, that the auction was also going uh, live currently. So it goes live November the 1st. Right. Yeah. And it's that is, that is open, you know, if anybody has a different idea about that, that's open because I was a little, I thought that it was a glitch, that it wasn't visible, but it, that the website that I chose to use, apparently it will not be visible until the auction is live. Does that make sense, Sharon? I think it makes and sense. And I, think that, I think we should put a sign in the window that says auction, you know, it says what we're talking about, that the auction starts November 1st. And of course the link to the auction can be right there on that sign um, and then of course we'll be able to promote it differently but I, I think it's fine to let people wait to start bidding on that painting let everybody see that painting for a little bit of time kind of lust for it a little bit and then the auction starts and even having an auction that goes for a month you know uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens the last two days <laughs> but but right. having it go a month we can start the process of getting people to uh, feel comfortable with even the process of bidding online maybe most people probably have not bought something on ebay or done this before so giving us a whole month to do it i think is a good idea and i don't know if we yeah. should let it go for two months but I, I like the idea of building up a little bit of excitement around it so if, if there, nobody's, nobody has a problem with that, what I'll do is I will put the signs in uh, the window in the next couple days, and then I will make a post on Facebook um, with that information about the two things and start getting that word out. Does that sound good? That yeah. sounds good. Are you going to put anything in the newspaper? Yeah, I'm scheduled to write a column about the window next week for the paper. Okay. And then what I'll do is that usually with the Herald, we just call the Herald and tell them that we're doing something, and then they will I like write kind of a press release, and then they send the photographer over. So at okay. some point, I might have to call a quorum if we all want to be in the photo. Nina, is that okay? I don't know when that's going to be yet, but um, but yeah, Laura said there's space for a column about the window next week. What I do okay. ask is that once uh, I do release that information on social media on Wednesday, if anybody can share it, it will be very helpful. Okay. Yeah, everybody, if you've got a mailing list, you know, please start to promote, send it out to people. It's again, it's very much like the cigarette machine. We can promote it through uh, social media and personally as uh, commissioners to try to get people to, this is our fundraiser this year. We don't get to have a party. So this is this is how we raise our money. So let's try to make it as successful as we can by everybody participating. It's a good idea. Karen, okay, so, did, yeah. Sorry, did you say Wednesday or did you mean this Wednesday? Yeah, I, I'm gonna put the picture. I'm gonna put the the cards that I have in the window on, which, which have the everything else in the window is done, but except for the web addresses because I had that auction thing that it wasn't showing up yet. But okay. I'll put those in the window on Wednesday. But what I'll also do is I will send Nina a short little description of what the whole thing is with the web addresses on there, and she'll send it to you guys so you can share it via email if you want, okay? Or, Wonderful. Or on social media also, Karen, after Wednesday? Yeah, I'll make a post on Wednesday once I have those, uh, once I have those signs in the window. I'll make a post, and then you can share that. I'll put it on the Bisbee Arts Commission page. If you're on social media, you'll probably definitely see it. But the more people share it, the better, of course. But let's wait yeah, till Wednesday, because then I'll get, I'll get those signs up for the auction and everything. And that so means I, that... At, so, at this point here, I shouldn't, uh, like, change my profile picture or to Rose Johnson or something like that. That's wait till after Wednesday to do something like that? 
Yeah, wait till you get my email. That'd be good because okay. then the signs will be in those two signs will be in the window. Okay. And then, Karen, I need to get with you to uh, put those prints in the window too. Okay. Yes, and then um, the last thing we need to do, I did talk to um, Steve Miller to paint the Rose Johnson since we, uh, since I guess um, Barbara couldn't do it. So, and he's, I, I just, I, he and I just have to get together. And my understanding was he would agreed to do it, and I don't think he's going to charge us. So that's good um, news. I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah that is good news. Better. So we, yeah. So okay. I have a question. Yeah, Jenny. Um, I just wanted to put it out there that Jill offered to hang that painting of hers in our in the window with the other things if the BAC was interested. You know, that could be in the place of that. That looks like that painting might fit in that opening that we still have. Yeah, it would be nice. The only problem I had with the way it was worded was that she wants to sell it. She wants. Um, we're not. We're not a, we're, that's not what we do. You know, we don't, know. Bill, Bill doesn't get any money from this. <laughs> Karen, um, I, I think that she um, sent a message to you guys and that was not what I talked about with her. I, I asked her if she'd be willing to let it be a part of the window, a show, and that's all I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Bill bought that painting from Luann. So Bill originally was the owner of that painting as well, as he seems to own all the Rose Johnson paintings in town or at some point in his life. And uh, yes. he bought yeah, it from Bill. Luann. And Luann she bought it feet from me. No, and we're, just, we're just stealing his art. But Luann <laughs> is the best person for her to contact because Luann knows what a reasonable price is to, exp to, ex to expect. And you know, Luann probably as a client list or uh, she might even be able to to place it quickly if that's what Jill needs to do oh it's not you know it was just we were talking about the window and she said yeah. she had a, I, so, would, okay. I, I think the painting is too big for for that oh. space but I'm trying to remember because it was fairly long how, yeah I can't remember why don't I it's good for the dimensions and then I'll send them to you uh Karen yeah. and we can yeah. see we want to do it. That would okay. be great. Okay. Be great. Um, yeah, so that is the thing, is the title that Steve Miller is going to paint, and those last two signs are the last part of the whole thing, and then we'll post everything and we'll, we'll be started, you know? The only thing, I mean, social media-wise, we're going to have to, I and I can do part of that, we'll just have to keep on reminding people. In the past, social media has worked really well for the Arts Commission, as we know. So, because we've we've had very successful events and auctions. So, and then I will I will have a column in the paper next week. And the Herald, I'll keep you guys abreast of that one too. And then I will send you out something on Wednesday with the links to the pages that either are active or will be active as of November first. Does that sound good? That sounds yeah. wonderful. Thank you. Karen. Yeah, no problem. And, um, we did end up using Rally Up, which is they took a lot less. Rally Up is a website that's specifically for nonprofits or things like us, which were a city commission. So they take a lot less than eBay. So mm -hmm. it'd be like a better choice in that way. Um, do I have any questions about the window? I thought it was beautiful. Oh, great. Yay, yeah. It looks great. Nina, did you see it? Yes, it looks wonderful. Oh, thank you. Yay. <laughs> I know all the commissioners like it. <laughs> we're almost there, so that's good. Um, right. And so the last item, well, the almost last item for tonight is that discussion and possible action regarding the 2020 Art Commission Artist Grants. It is the time of the year where we ask for proposals from artists who want grants up to $500. And we, you know, we have up to 5,000, we usually a lot in our budget up to $5,000 for those grants. Cause that's a big part of what we do is that we give out grants for anything from, you know, pottery workshops to, um, 
murals that are going to happen in town. There's a whole slew of things that we try to support by paying the artists to do them. And so what we needed to come up with tonight was a date of when we were going to put out that proposal and a date of when we were going to close it. So, you want it done before the holiday? Yeah, I mean, we're getting into the it's holiday. The time. Go ahead, Karen. Oh, no, I was just trying to, I, no, it's true. The holidays are always, what I would propose is something like opening it at the beginning of November, no, oh, well, open putting out the initial thing in, in the paper in the next two or three weeks, and then closing it. I'm trying to think of dates, sorry, off the top of my head. Um, we usually let it stay open for a month, and then it goes in front of the group, which our meetings are the first Monday traditionally of every month. So we would need to open it in the next couple weeks and close it down by the end of November. Does that make sense? Yep, it does. Can you get it? Can we get it um, announced in the newspaper? Maybe uh, you know. We do. Buy, we buy an ad in the paper. Mm -hmm. I know actually what we do. Yeah. Right. So my question to you is: Do you how many times do you want it in the paper? And you want it to be from November 1st to November 30th. That way it could be on the December 7th meeting for the BAC to decide. That's great. If we can do that, yeah. yeah Does anybody have an, anybody opposed to that? Nope. So basically, so then, we would be releasing the awarding the uh, possibly awarding the um, artists in December and they would receive to begin in uh, December of 2021. No, they, how, they would receive their funding sometime in December after we vote. Well, so we vote on it. Then the city council votes on it. So they receive their funding probably at the very end of December, the beginning of January. And then usually they have a year or to use their funding and they have to write a final report. And if you guys, if anybody wants to see it, I can send you the application. Do you guys want to see the application? Yeah. yeah. And so Nina is it's so great. She, she it's the same together. application, right? Yeah, it's the same application that we've had the last couple of years, which is catered to artists. And Nina puts the application up on the city of Bisbee website. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's on our webpage for the BAC. Um, mm -hmm. Just so you'll know, Karen, so if yeah. you decide on the December 7th meeting for the BAC, it would go to council on the 22nd for approval and be paid out on the 23rd. So it would be the end of the, the year by the time they got their checks. Merry Christmas. Right? <laughs> yeah. um, does anybody have a problem with that? Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, the, the, how many times do we want to put it in the paper? That's what Nina asked. Well, what do we typically do, Karen? I don't know, Nina, do what, how, how many times? Do we Usually put I put it in twice, so I'll put it in like I'd get it ready for next week. And then, let's see, I would get it ready so that it'd be on the 16th. And then the we'd put it back out again for the... I want to say it's the 5th of November. So quit, or we could move it back to, it doesn't go out until the 29th and the 5th. So the 29th of October or the 5th of November, both of those days. October. So the 29th and the 5th. I that think sounds so. good. Just, yeah, yeah, that would be I mean, closer to the actual dates. Yeah. yeah. With a deadline of the last month or the last day in November, which is the 30th. Correct. And that would be by 5 p.m. on the 30th. Yeah. That's a Monday, I think. And isn't it? Karen, I'll go ahead and get that uh, advertisement ready for your approval. I'll send it to you hopefully in the next, before the end of the week. That sounds great, but we, we won't put it in until the 29th. 
kid. Right. I'm going to be on vacation next week and part of that week of the 29th. So I'm going to have to get it ready prior to, and then I'll send it to her and tell her not to let it go out until the 29th and the 5th. It sounds great. We have to vote on that though, don't we? I think so. Yeah, we need to vote on the dates and Oh, I'm glitching, Nina. Sorry, what? I said you're glitching a little bit. We have to vote on the dates of the newspaper and the dates of the grant, right? Correct. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to approve. Okay. Go on. You go for it. You go for it. silence here. I started to say I moved to approve and then Karen you said something so I stopped to hear what you were saying. Oh no go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I move to approve uh the date for submission of the 2020 Art Commission's artist grant and for November the what fifth October the 29th and November the 5th. Oh, yeah. Does that sound right, Nina? It's, it's not quite. It's the, um, I move to approve the newspaper ad for the Bisbee Arts Commission rant advertisement for the 29th and the 29th of October and the 5th of November okay. and the dates of the open grant for the 1st of November 2020 to close to on the November 30th and to close on November 30th, right? Right, that sounds good here. Yeah. I'm just trying to get the, I'm, sorry, I'm closing my eyes to try and get the dates right. Is that, is the 29th was correct, right? Correct. So Karen, you did the motion, Juanetta, you're gonna second that? I'll second. Okay. Okay, all eyes. Aye. 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 Any nays? Motion approved. So that's good. So we can get that started. You know, that's always a, it's an involved process because we do get proposals from people and sometimes we get more than others, but a lot of that is advertisement as well and getting it out on social media. So, um, yeah, I think that's great. Does, does anybody have any questions about the artist grants? No. No. Uh, and I'll send you guys, I'll send you the application so you can look it over too, okay? Yes. That's okay. fine. If it's, it's on, on the, the website. website, you don't need to. Okay, is it up right now, Nina? I will, I'll have to check. I think yeah, I left it up just in, uh, for last year just so that it would be there. If not, I will put it back up and then I also will send the link out to the commission so they can okay. view it. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Nina. And so does anybody have, so item seven is future agenda items. Yes, so on the future agenda, I'd like to put the budget for the wall that had to be constructed in the window display for the art, for the artist. Yes, please, That's let's put that on the agenda. And then did we need to do an item, Karen, for the auction dates? Did you wanna approve those? Or since we already said it was gonna be uh till the end of november did you want us to put that on there or no it's up to you guys do we need to, do we need to vote on the auction dates even though i got ahead of myself i already said them um let's just be on the safe side and we'll go ahead and put them on the next agenda because nothing's going okay. out until wednesday of next week so i think if we put them on the next agenda we can just ask for forgiveness yeah, we'll already be in the process, though, right? Is that okay? I guess so. Right, and that should be okay, but it'll just be a formal formality of it. Um, that way, um, Amy can vote on those since um, she's just now coming in, and then hopefully by the next agenda, we'll have another new member, Miss Rockefeller, and maybe she can vote on that then too, and they'll be a part of it. Okay. Good. And so, Amy, do you have any agenda? Is there anything specifically that you would like to talk about with the Arts Commission? Uh, or a future I, agenda? 
Not future agenda. I just wondered what social media you use besides Facebook. Mostly we've been using Facebook because, um, to be honest, our, our population that we try to get, um, you know, the message out to are the boomer generation. So there's less, there's less people in Bisbee on Instagram. You know, there's a lot of younger people. There are younger people on Instagram, but it's not as popular. Um, if someone wanted to, you know, start an Instagram for the Arts Commission, that would be great. But we've really relied on Facebook because Bisbee seems to love Facebook, as you can see from our very active Facebook groups. <laughs> I know I see the Phoenix Art Museum on Instagram because I moved from Phoenix and I was a member there, but younger people do. <laughs> the Art Museum is also accessible to a wider audience, I suspect maybe, um, maybe because of our organ because of our town, our our demographic. I'm not sure that this is true, but. Uh, seems like we have an, a, a little, like Karen said, a boomer, a more boomer generation um, population here, and so they and they have a little more disposable income. But the art museum is just advertising itself and its its presence and wanting people to come to their evening cocktail parties that they used to do. I, I remember the fun stuff the Phoenix Art Museum always did, but it's different. I think that maybe what we might be dealing with here, I'm not sure, but if, if you know how to do Instagram, we should do it. Yeah, I think we should. Just remember on Instagram, I as in Facebook. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that young either. No. <laughs> what I was gonna say, just remember with Instagram, just like in Facebook, I ha um, the city will have to have access to it because I have to make sure that I, whatever's posted on there has to be captured for records. Right. So that's what, they they have to control it so that I don't post it. Just leave it with Facebook it. right now, because everybody's on there. Yeah, it's just this, this community is really very attached to faith. It will shift. I mean, we do have a lot of younger people that post on Instagram. I mean, I use Instagram all the time, but it's just mostly, Amy. It comes down to a time thing that you know nobody's really wanted to put the time into it. If you want, if you would want, if that's something that you would like to do, we'd be definitely open to it. Maybe once I get a little more adjusted, I'll look into that. Yeah, and I'm so sorry. I know that like right now, this is a bit of a blur and it's even more confusing because we're on Zoom. There's all these things going on. So, you know, what you can do, if you have any questions about anything that we're up to, you send an email to Nina, and then she sends the email to us. We have to do it that way because we're part of public record. But if mm -hmm. you have any questions about any of the projects or anything that happened tonight, feel free to email us through Nina, and we can kind of get you updated. Okay. Because it's 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 going to be a blur just because I you know I run the meetings a little bit. I don't know what the word I am looking for is, but just so that it doesn't go on too long. Yep. And also, but I know that it can be confusing to new members. And one of the things that we did for Jenny last time is we went over a little bit of the protocol, you know, because the protocol is a little bit confusing to get used to because we can't actually meet all together in a, in a, anywhere and talk about the arts commission. We, we are part of open meeting law. And so there's laws that we have to do to communicate with each other, like going through NINA for our communication. So if you okay. have any questions about that, feel free to ask us, okay? Okay. It looks like I'm in a horror movie down here, doesn't it? Yeah, you really do. I know it got dark on me, I'm sorry. But it's so nice outside. But um, nice yeah, the stuff. next thing, the next thing will be, I'll send you guys that information about the window on Wednesday, but does anybody have any other uh, things they want to put on the future agenda? Not yet. If you do, email Nina, and, and she can put it on for us, okay? okay. Nina's our saint. We've got a lot Thank you. Yeah. I know she's put up with a lot of crap from us, so. <laughs> um yeah but otherwise just look out for my email and um 
Do I have a motion to adjourn? I motion we adjourn this meeting of the Bisbee Arts Commission on October 5th. A second. Do I have a, do I have a second? A second. All ayes? Aye. Aye. Any nays? All right, well, we're good. You guys have a wonderful evening. Um,